Say good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. <laughs> Happy Monday. We have come out for a little um, look around. I got my card. You have, haven't you? We've come out for a little look around the shops today. We're actually going to go charity shop shopping, which I'm really excited about because I am getting withdrawals from the car boot. But it's just too cold for the car boot. We are starting off in the range because I actually saw someone who I follow on Instagram and they made a wreath and it is so gorgeous and I really want to make it to... Um, have at home on my no, front door so let me just show you look how nice this Let's is make something. do a bit of this and a bit of that <laughs> let's go and put in my car but look how gorgeous that oh, is beautiful so yeah i'll have a little look around here and then we're going to head to two charity shops near here and then we're going to go to another place and they have like pound land and like a whole selection of charity shops so hopefully we will find some little treasures um and yeah let's see what we pick up hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty wow. With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away everyone i hope you're all okay i thought i would share with you what i picked up i actually only got a couple of things from the charity shop i feel like i need a little bit more experience with going charity shopping <laughs> we actually went to 12 charity shops i only shared with you a few um but if you do want to see like more what's in the charity shop then just let me know because i think we're gonna go not this week coming but next week so i'll definitely be happy to take you along with me but yeah you never know what you're gonna find do you and it's really like hit and miss so i am happy with the bits that i got and i am really looking forward to going again i feel like it's such a treasure hunt and i just love it so a couple of the stores as well in i think it was scope I don't know if you have that charity shop near you, but in our one, they had a whole section of ex ASOS stuff. So that was really good to know. And then another store that we went to called Oxfam, that one had all ex Zara stuff. I was so like, wow. My friend picked up a dress in there for five pounds and it was so nice. Like literally never been worn like most of the stuff had tags on my coat that i got from there in the christmas sale was also in store in a like a cream color it was really lovely new with the tags um i didn't pick it up because i don't need another coat but um yeah they had a gorgeous like chocolate brown puffer coat for manny but it was in 12 to 18 so I can imagine like when they get that stuff in, people are just in there. It was quite a busy store and um, yeah, they had some great stuff in there. But I thought I would share with you what I picked up. I obviously went into the range as well to get my reef um, and I did get something, but I didn't get what I went in for. So I will share that with you as well. I got a couple of bits from B&M and then I've also got some bits from Primark and Zara because we went there just the weekend before i filmed the charity shop come shop with me so i'll start off with what i actually did get in the charity shop um 
this is the thing that I picked up. So this is from the YMCA. This is such a gorgeous little pot for the kitchen. It was only one pound. And I just thought this looked like H&M Home, Zara, like somewhere like that. Um, and I probably will have this on a little shelf when we do our kitchen. So I just had to get that because I love picking up little things like that. So that was my first purchase. And I also did pick up like a Pokemon Pikachu. He, he was actually like the hat. So he had like the little ears that he has. And then he had like the eyes on the hat. And I got that for Marley. And it was £1.50. And he was so happy with that. Um, so they were like the purchases that I got. As I said, not very many. But then I did pick up this when I went to Yarmouth. Um, in one of the charity shops there because I actually have quite a lot of charity shops too so I got I don't know what um, charity shop it was called but I got these two little vases I just think they're so nice like they're definitely something I would have in the house and I'm not sure like these colours aren't for me but what I will do is give a little DIY to them so if I do that um at any point i'll try and put it in like a weekly vlog or something how lovely are the shapes i thought like i could have a little bunny tail in this one on this side it has like this pattern um and then look at this it's like a mini vase they were both one pounds each and yeah i just really like them <sighs> sorry about that someone was at the door so from h&m which is what I picked up at the weekend when we went in. I got this, I'm so happy with this. It really goes in with like my little theme of my pot, look. Um, this is like a little oil dispenser and look at the colors, like look at the texture on this. It's just so nice. And I love that it has this like light little corkscrew there. So I think I'm gonna have this, like I wanna have near my gas hob like a couple of chopping boards and then a jar with like my wooden spoons and stuff in and then this next to it so this was 12.99 but i actually got 15 percent off because they had like members day in there so yeah i am happy to pay that because i just think it's so nice and it'll look so lovely in my kitchen i then picked up in b m couple of cleaning bits I've got so I've got this uh, minky glass and window cloth um I saw someone else recommend this on YouTube when they were cleaning and I think I have had one of these before and I didn't really get on with it but I thought I'll give it another go because I actually use the Spontex window cleaning kit it comes with two cloths and it is just amazing and I've had it now for a good three to four years so um yeah i just picked it up because someone had recommended it. i thought i'd try it um i then got some zoflora this has gone up in price like i can't believe um i went into pound stretcher and this was four pounds i didn't get this from b&m actually i got this from the range <laughs> in the range this was three pounds and this is my favorite scent it's mandarin and lime and i just love the freshness of this my other favorite scent for like this time of year is hello spring it's not the springtime the yellow one it's like a aqua blue color and i am on the lookout for that so yeah if anyone sees that let me know <laughs> I also picked up some of these extra Dish Daddy dish wand heads because I have the Dish Daddy scrub in my sink and they didn't have these at the time and now they did. I also picked up two of these. So these um, were three pounds each and I got one for my Zaflora to go in because I used to use this all the time just pop a little bit of the floor in here with some water and you can use it for so many things and then they brought out their like antibacterial sprays so i kind of switched over to them but i do feel like the scents in these are a lot stronger and i just feel like they make the house smell so nice so i wanted that back and i also got another one of these put bleach and water in so i can use it just around my toilet and stuff with the boys 
especially with Manny potty training at the moment. So yeah, and I'm actually think I'm gonna go and pick another one up just to put water in for Manny's room because when I painted his chalkboard wall, we don't have like a good way to get the chalk off at the moment. So I think maybe one of these and a little sponge might do the job. So yeah, I'm gonna get another one when I go back. Because that's all from B&M. But from the range, let me just share with you my wreath. So I actually went in, as you saw on the video, to collect those stems and this um, like wicker wreath. But they didn't have any of them in there. So the wicker wreath I actually got from Hobbycraft and the flowers, this is actually a garland which works really well because I can just wrap it round and I don't have to do no cutting or gluing. Um, and look how gorgeous this is. This was from the range. It was $4.99 I think. Um, but they look like little daffodils. I just think this is so springtime and I love it and I love as well that I don't really have to do much to this apart from I'm just going to wrap it round and then I'll probably pin the flowers just so I can get it looking a little bit more even. But yeah, what do you think of that? Obviously it doesn't look the best at the minute because I've just done it right now but um i think i can add to that and that was 11 pounds and then it's gonna hang on my front door and it's gonna look so nice so i'm really really pleased with that oh i also picked some of these up these aren't actually from primark they're from tiger they're just some little um fiber pots they call them biodegradable 20 pieces because i bought some sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds from b&m so I'm going to put the sunflowers in here to start them off and then hopefully I'll be able to plant them in my garden and have some lovely big sunflowers. And then, oh, I did also get this from B&M, just found in the bag. This cute little vase, £2.50. I thought that was so good. I did think, do I need another vase? And I really weren't going to get it. But then I thought, well, £2.50, like I'm sure I'll find somewhere like I could picture that in a bathroom or my utility maybe, something like that. So from Primark, I picked up just some essentials. So I've got some cotton pads and then these are my favourite microfiber facial cleansing cloths. You get three in a pack and they are three pounds and I just think they work so well. You literally need warm water and it removes all of your makeup. I do actually like to use my Elemis cleanser, cleanse my face and then wipe off with these and I just feel like my face feels so clean after that. These are also really good little top tip here if you have fake tan on and it goes all like tiger bread, you can't get it off. These are amazing. I also picked up, if you watched my Primark haul, I got two sets of pyjamas. Um, so I picked up another set in the black this time. I just have the ribbed shorts with like the little frilly design at the bottom um they were three pound fifty and then i got this ribbed crop top as well and the crop tops are three pound fifty as well i also picked up a white one because i have some blue shorts because i'm like sorting out my wardrobe which was in last week's video and i'm sort of doing my drawers as well and i want to do all my pajamas because i actually don't really have a lot so this will go with my blue shorts. I then picked up this little um, sugar cookie lolly. This was £1.50 and I want to do the kids like a little Easter basket each. So I'm going to pop this one in Ava Lilies. Um, I then picked up a mountain of socks. So I got some for Manny. I got some for Marley. And also some for Ava Lily. I literally just thought I'm going to bin all their old ones. They've got rips in. They are odd socks and they're just old and stained. So I thought I'm going to throw them all out and top them all up. And you get 10 pairs for £2.80. So you just really can't go wrong with that. And I'm actually really looking forward to um, swapping those all over because... 
you know when their socks just get so old and then this was my buy of the day I must say I was so happy when I saw these these little sandals for Manny how nice are they they were five pounds which is just amazing and I actually got some of these like identical um, in black from next and they were 10 pounds last year but these are a little dupe for the Birkenstock ones they bring out so yeah such a good find and at five pounds I just had to get them because I love the color of them as well they're such a nice little green so I'm gonna sort his wardrobe out which is why I've also bought some bits from Zara because I did a big H&M order for the boys as well um, I want to go through their wardrobes. I was going to do it this week, but we're now supposed to get snow. So actually, I'm just going to leave all their old winter stuff in there. And I'm just hanging the summer stuff like on that side of the wardrobe. And I'll just buy as I sort of go around the shops. But um, I picked Manny up some little cream joggers which i thought were really nice they were 9.99 and i got him 18 to 24 months actually because two to three looked massive um he is three in may but he's just really like quite small so i got him that color and then i also picked him up the blue which are so lovely really like a nice spring color 9.99 again and to go with either one of those, you can't go wrong with these basic t-shirts in there. I think they're really lush as well. Um, I love they have a little pocket on. And these are 5 99 so size 2 to 3. Um, such a nice little basic because the quality is really lovely too. So definitely just have a little look in Zara because I do find, and Next as well, they do have some really good basics for the kids um, and obviously the quality's there so they're going to last but yeah that is everything that I picked up this week in the shops I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me around the charity shops and if you would like me to film as I said next week when I do go um, just let me know down below and yeah I will make sure I film that because I'm really looking forward to it again to be honest yeah I hope you've all had a lovely week and a nice weekend and I will see you next week bye guys